Many people who are addicted to substances take substances with the idea that they will feel better if they take the substance. But in effect, actually, that's, that's not necessarily the case. And many people who are addicted to something uh, feel bad, actually, when they use. And uh, this is also something that you could imagine you visualize and analyze through this network structure. So that you say, okay, so your mental model of yourself is that if you do this, then this happens. But actually, it's the other way around. So in itself, the idea that uh, all kinds of problems in mental disorder influence each other in the system is not new. This is a, a view that has been espoused by many people in history of thinking about these things. But what we have really added to these ideas is a, is a methodology. So we have created statistical methods to, uh, that allow you to actually estimate these network structures from empirical data. In the traditional approach to psychological measurement, uh, measurable variables like symptoms of mental disorders or um, how well somebody uh, uh, performs on the psychological test or what somebody says in an interview are related to latent constructs and they are viewed as indicators of an underlying psychological condition. So for instance, if you have um, uh, depression symptoms like insomnia, concentration problems, uh, low mood, suicidal ideation, feelings of worthlessness, these are seen as indicators of an underlying latent condition and the objective of psychological measurement and psychometrics is to uncover that latent uh, entity and to find out what it is and how it operates. In the network approach we take a different view of what, uh, how these symptoms operate and uh, um, we have the view that symptoms can influence each other. So for instance if you don't sleep well you uh, can get tired, you make mistakes, uh, you have concentration problems, you feel uh, guilty about uh, things you've done and you start worrying about these and all of these variables can start to uh, basically influence each other. So they form a network structure and a system of elements that react together and that's why they can go up and down together. So rather than a mental disorder like depression being the common cause of all of these symptoms, they, are, they cause each other and they move together like a flock of birds. And that's uh, where our models come in. We make models to actually uh, yeah, uh, understand and predict and control these kinds of systems. But then from that to actually implementing it in practice, uh, a lot of new uh, research has to be done. You have to figure out what is an acceptable uh, number of measures for a patient, for instance. Uh, does it actually correlate or does it relate to mental disorders in the same way? Is it, is it, so you need validation research. And so uh, we're now at a point that at various places people are uh, validating these techniques and seeing whether they could indeed help with um, treating uh, people. After many years of, uh, of developing these techniques, actually last year uh, Adela Ishvoranu and Sasha Etzkamp, two people who have worked on the project, uh, pulled the card and uh, uh, pulled the book together. So now we have a network psychometrics with R, which is a basically standalone textbook that anybody can use anywhere in the world to actually teach how you uh, work with these methods and how you operate them. So I'm really, really happy with, uh, with that result as a sort of way of rounding off the whole ERC project.